In today's video, we'll be going over what I think is the most important LEGO Star Wars 2023 Somerset leak and why I think it is that way. Let's talk about it. So yes, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars video. And today I have a video I've wanted to talk about for a couple weeks now, but I figured now is finally the time. And uh, first off, shout out to everyone that liked this LEGO polo. Actually, it's over here. Uh, shout out to everyone that you know commented they liked it yesterday. I've had this for a little while now. I got it from the same... Uh, ex Lego store employee that gave me that Christmas X Wing. Um, it was new at the time, so uh, finally kind of you know rocking it a little bit uh, right now. I feel kind of you know weather's getting a little bit warmer and it feels good to wear. So thank you guys all for the compliments on the polo, and let's get into the actual video, guys. So this is going to be involving set number seven five three five four, the Republic gunship coming out September first, twenty twenty three. Uh, one thousand eighty three pieces. And basically just why I think this leak means so much for Lego Star Wars going forward. So basically at this point, there's been, you know, speculation, you know, rumors, you know, pretty much what people have been thinking, okay, is this is 100% going to happen as a regular Republic gunship. The thing is, it's not a course on police gunship. Like I can, I can tell you this right now. It's not going to be this. It's not going to be a remake of this. So, you know, if you wanted this, you know, sorry to say it's not going to be that. And if you guys were kind of worried it will be this and not a regular gunship, um, you know, don't feel worried about that either. But, um, you know, it's 100% going to be at least a regular Republic gunship and 99% going to be a Coruscant Guard gunship. Um, you know, basically the original leaker, he said he saw a whole bunch of dark red in there. Of course, the minifigure selection now, uh, Chancellor Palpatine in a red robe. We have uh, Padme Amidala, which is fantastic. It's been a long time since we saw her. Of course, we have Phase 2 Clone Commander Fox, which you guys have been kind of, you know, keeping up with my videos and my Instagram. Uh, there is, you know, leaked images out there, you know, of the, the actual helmet and the torso. I'm not going to put them in this video just to not have them, you know, in so many places. But, um, you know, they're in a video from like two weeks ago or they're right over my Instagram if you guys want to go check them out. Um, I've also got Vaughn pictures over there. Then also two Coruscant Shock Troopers, which... There's kind of like a, an image running around that people are claiming are, you know, is real. Um, I have no validity on that. Uh, I want to say it's 99%, you know, not real. Even then, even if it was a, a real picture of them, they, you really can't tell anything with them. It just kind of looks how we think they would. Of, you know, of course, all the clones will have the helmet holes. I mean, that's just to give me. They're not going to, you know, not do them for one random set. It seems like they're going to be doing that, you know, going forward. And so look, at this point, guys, that's kind of the thing here. You know, initially everyone was pretty excited, you know, that first initial day because it just seemed like we were going to be getting a regular Republic gunship in, you know, predominantly white with a little bit of dark red, of course, a little bit of the lime green. And a lot of people were pretty satisfied with that because it's been 10 years. And, you know, naturally with a regular white gunship, you know, people are buying two, three, four, five of them, you know, for their armies. It's super diverse. You know, they can use it for pretty much any legion. But then when the rumors came out that it will be a Coruscant Guard gunship, a lot of people were kind of, you know, retracting their opinions on it. They're saying, hey, look, you know, I'm excited for it, but I really do wish it was a, a regular gunship. And that's what I'm getting at with this video. So, again, you guys saw it firsthand and maybe even yourself. I mean, I wouldn't doubt half of you guys watching this right now, you know, shared that exact same opinion, um, you, know, at, you know, amongst yourself. You know, you guys saw the, the regular gunship leaks and you guys were super excited about it. You were probably telling yourself, hey, look, I'm going to get five of these things. You know, then two or three days later, the course on guard part of it, you know, came out and you guys are like, nah, you know, I'll probably still pick up one. It's a clone set. Maybe I'll pick up a second, but you know, I'm not going to be picking up the three, four or five like I initially planned since there's really no point of it. And I agree with that. You hundred percent. I mean, although I'm on the boat, if I really do like the course on guard version of it, I think that's a fantastic version to do. Um, you, I'll still probably be picking up a couple of them, but I see where everyone's getting it. You know, I don't expect, you know, necessarily people to be getting, you know, four or five of these like they would a regular one. So getting into why I think this means so much for Lego Star Wars going forward is Lego has to know this is the case. You know, they have to know that making this a Coruscant Guard stylized gunship, you know, 90% dark red, you know, very little white, and just overall, you know, very catered towards one Clone Legion, you know, the Clone Legion that comes in the set, of course, but, you know, for the average collector, you know, not everyone's going to really care about this. You know, that's going to cut their sales. I'm not going to say in half, but it's at least going to knock off 20, 25% off sales just naturally and basically where i'm getting at with this and it's going to be kind of hard to explain fully you hopefully you guys kind of follow along is i think going forward you know if lego star wars finally kind of gets back to this point of just having faith in giving us unique stuff that i feel like is a little bit more catered towards specific people again like there is going to be a handful of people that just don't want this at all 
and you know just making something that's super unique something that's super cool the minifigure selection even then is a little bit random as well you know sure of course commander fox and the course on guards you know they make perfect sense in the set but you know palpatine you know padme again they make sense in different scenes but this was never really a direct moment off you know in the clone wars and this kind of further makes it feel like a, a 2008 you know 2010 2012 clone Wars set because you know looking back you know, as much as I don't think we really realized in the moment, moment, you know, there was a lot of stuff back then that, you know, like the Republic frigate had three Jedi that were like never seen together. You know, we had the, uh, the Umbara and MHC that had like Ahsoka on Umbara. Like there was a lot of those older, you know, late 2000s, early 2010 sets, you know, that we, you know, still love and have a lot of, a lot of nostalgia for that were just very kind of random and just kind of, you know, filled in gaps that just made certain people satisfied but we're at the end of the day just really kind of a random combination. And this is what I feel like this is right here. You know, Coruscant Guard Gunship, not what everyone wanted. A very kind of obscure, you know, at the end of the day, minifigure selection. That should be pretty cool. I mean, again, like I'm excited to get a Palpatine and you guys know me. Padme, we need more Padmes. I mean, we don't have any Episode 3 Padmes and it's been 18 years. And I think Phase 2 Commander Fox to finally get him, fantastic. It's, you know, it's really overdue, I think. And I think this just further opens up those doors for, you know, I don't think, you know, some people are kind of throwing it around. You know, I don't necessarily think we're going to be getting like a Wolfpack gunship, a 327th gunship, a 212th gunship, a 501st gunship. I don't think that for a second. You know, but what I really do think we're going to start seeing, though, is I do think we're going to start seeing, you know, maybe an ATOT uh, with, you know, Phase 2 Commander Belai. I think we will see maybe a Republic frigate uh, with a uh, Commander Wolf. You know, some people have even brought up, you know, you could actually make a Republic frigate set and have Commander Thorn in there since, you know, he was technically in the Republic frigate in his episode. So there's a lot of stuff. Just overall, I got to be honest with you. I know I'm kind of rambling here, but at the end of the day, look, I can just tell you guys, if this actually comes to fruition, you know, is Coruscant Guard is 100% how these leaks, you know, describe it to be. I got to be frank with you guys, I am more excited about this than the Venator even. I think what this means going forward for LEGO Star Wars is huge. And I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on it. Do you, you know, do you guys kind of get where I'm coming from with this, you know, with the obscurity of it? And if LEGO actually kind of has the faith in this set still doing well, and, you know, if they're willing to actually maybe cut down 20% of sales, but, you know, make people just excited and just make something super unique that's going to be on the shelves, I think I'm here for it. And look, guys, with this information and going into, say, 2024, 2025 with the you know, Revenge of the Sith, you know, 20th anniversary, I got to be honest with you. I might be overhyping myself right now, but I'm very excited. And I love that this is Coruscant Guard based rather than a regular gunship. Sure, that's me. Um, you know, I've got older ones. I know everyone doesn't. So I get where you guys are coming from. But I think, look, I mean, hopefully within three or four years from now, I can look back to kind of my hype level now and see if i'm actually right about it because i've got a lot of faith in lego star wars i think 2023 as a whole you know sure first half is a little lackluster second half i feel like it's going to be picking up and i think all said and done as much as you know they definitely lacked on some areas and on some sets i gotta be honest with you by the end of 2023 i think i can look back and say 2023 might be like a top six or seven you know year of all time in the past 24 years of lego star wars so leave your thoughts down below guys are you guys excited about this course on guard gunship do you guys think it means, you know, something big, you know, for LEGO Star Wars moving forward? And that's all for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of fully express my hype uh, regarding it, kind of give you guys a little bit of my thoughts and opinions. And again, always, you know, start discussion down below, guys. I'll be in the comments with you. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys, and stay safe.